Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the month of July, your 2021 reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watch or subscriber, I'm sending you so much blessings, joy, love and light always. You guys are amazing. Welcome, welcome back. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you are a cross watcher, you are always welcome to join us. Come on in. Please know I'm sending blessings, love and light for you and for all of us as well. If you don't know, I'm not big on signs. Libra, I like to focus on you. But if the messages in this reading highly connect and correlate to one of the other Zodiac readings that I've already posted, I will let you guys know. Use your discernment. You guys can watch. Hopefully there's other messages, information, synchronicities or signs or something in there that you may connect or relate to. But always use um, your own discernment. Please know that you guys have free will. When it comes to readings, it's all about the energy and the messages. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your reading, it's okay. Your next reading could be your best reading. There's hundreds and thousands of other incredible, awesome readers. If you need me to shout some out, just um, you can look at some of my old videos or um, email me or leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you to the best of my ability. But there's other incredible readers. But if you stay tuned, your next reading really could be, you know, something that really correlates and resonates with you and your life. But if it's not your reading, please don't get upset. It's okay. You know, when it comes to readings, you know, us readers, we do the best that we can with the messages that we get from God, source and spirit from our spiritual teams. So if something, you know, doesn't resonate, you know, we've done our best, but um, sometimes it's just not your reading and that's okay. And, you know, I would say focus on the readers who at least most of the time that's your reading or you just enjoy it. And if it isn't your reading, hopefully you can just enjoy it for entertainment value or learn something or pass it on to somebody who you, you may think, well, maybe it's for them, okay? I will be using reversals in this reading. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing. You guys know progression is my goal. I am getting there with the help of all of you. You guys are so amazing and wonderful. Thank you so much for being an incredible team and a part of my journey with Tarot and Oracle Cards in this, this channel. So I appreciate all the likes and, and the comments and the shares. I do read them. I do respond to the best of my ability and you guys truly make me smile. You make my day. I appreciate you guys. I will let you know when I open back personal readings and personal life coaching sessions. I do have PayPal and a PO box listed in the description box below. So if you guys want to leave me a gift or a note or something, please know that it is my birthday month and I appreciate presents, gifts, money, all of it. So I'm all open for whatever, but I appreciate energetic donations. I appreciate the likes, the shares, the subscribes, all of that matters to me. And, and if you went the extra mile to donate something financial, please know I appreciate you. I see you. I do read those comments as well and know that you guys will be, you will be blessed. Everybody will be blessed. And I feel like the more you give, the more you will receive all in God's divine timing. And you guys know whatever you guys put into me, I'm going to put back into you and into this channel. All right. Libra, if you looked at Scorpios, let's see, Gemini's and Capricorn's reading, they came in first, second, and third with the most views for the month of June for the main month message. Like this is the main month message for July, but they came in first, second, and third for um, June. So they get rewarded or were rewarded with a lot more decks of messages. So what I'm going to do is in place of just looking at the main month messages for next month in August, I'm going to be looking at this month's July's total views for each Zodiac's readings, not just for the main month. This is the main month, but for all of them. And I'm going to total it and tally it up that way. And that's how I'll get my first, second, and third place winners who came in with the most views for the month of August. So I hope that makes sense. All right. Anything else? Anything else? There will be three parts to your reading. And we are going to start. Let's begin. Everything has been prayed on and meditated on, Libra. Let's jump right in. So from the Earth Magic deck, what came out for you guys, Libra, is Green Man Synergy. I like when I see this card because this reminds me of buildings or builders or people working together to create something really great, special, something that's going to last and be solid. Somebody's coming in to help you. It could be as simple as something as a garden, a flower bed. I'm hearing a nursery or like like a flower nursery with like plants and stuff. It could even be a little farm or a little miniature farm with animals, but it could be a business. Somebody is coming in to help you. They want to build with you. You guys may want to surround yourself with a lot of greenery, eat things that are green, 
there's a lot of like greens and green vegetables that you guys should be eating. Listen to your doctors, listen to your bodies. Always go to God first and foremost with everything and do what you feel is best. But green foods are really good for us. They have a lot of like vitamins and uh, nutrients, minerals, all that stuff that we need to help our bodies stay strong and grow and help our teeth to stay strong and healthy. So um, that's always good for you. Green man synergy. Yeah, this is like really good energy. I love when I see this card because I feel like collectively like minds are coming together and making something happen. Like starting something, something's going to grow, it's going to sprout, it's going to flourish and be really good. So this is awesome. So whatever idea you have, please know that you're going to be getting a helper to help you include like other ideas to piggyback onto what you have. And you're going to work together with somebody. This is like teamwork to me. And you guys all know teamwork makes the dream work. And um, collectively, two heads is better than one. So anybody who's willing to help, that's less work for you. It's great to have teammates and team members. So just invite this energy and be willing to work together with somebody. It's going to take some of the load and, you know, a lot of um, off of you. So that's good. So you, you can put your energy elsewhere. But um, this is good. People coming together to get something done. That's amazing. I love that energy for you. And I feel like it's coming in really fast. So ask spirit and your um, spiritual team. Talk to God about what you really want, what you need. If you're working on something or you have a goal, an idea or a task or a project, especially a project right now, I'm seeing like a major project is about to come like to life. Somebody's going to help you bring your vision to life. That looks amazing to me. I love that. Okay, let's get to part two of your reading. Libra, you guys, I will be using, this is the Chakra Wisdom Oracle card deck, and I will be reading it in reverse. If it comes out that way, I will be doing the formation of the Star of the Sea. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the Zodiac Sign of Libra for the month of July, year 2021. All right, the first card represents you in your present and current situation. The second card represents the change that you could see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change. The fourth card represents the action you could take guided by spirit as you choose. The fifth card represents what's happening in your circle with, friend, with friends, family members, co-workers, people around you, subordinates, superiors, supervisors, neighbors, relatives, near or far. Anything alike could also be you. The sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. And I always start with the bottom of the deck, which represents the overall energy of the spread. Let's start with the bottom. Okay. Libra, you guys have gossip. So people are talking. They may want you to engage in petty gossip about other people. Don't do it, especially if you're on a job or even if you're at a party, if you're celebrating something with family, don't make it a point to join in on people who being like mean or just disrespectful and petty. Don't join in on that. They're doing it for laughs. Some of them are drunk or they drinking too much. They tripping. Don't, don't engage in that. It's what I'm hearing. Like stay your fun, gorgeous, flirty self and refrain from any nonsense and negativity. Okay. Focus on like positive things, peaceful things, prayers. You'll, you'll run all those low vibrational people away. Trust me. I mean, they reject what's good. So they'll reject anything that's good. They want something that's low and something that they can talk about and laugh at. You don't have time for that. You don't even want to engage in that. Please don't. Um, a lot of you are recovering from something or you're healing from something. It could be like surgery or maybe you're not feeling the best. Make sure you take care of your health is what I'm hearing. Take care of your bodies. Take care of your um, your mental health, your physical health, and your children. Like check on your kids too. But focus on happier times, peaceful things. You know, I feel like you're in a phase of like learning and growing and doing something really different. Like magical. You have a magical mindset at this time. You don't have time for negativity. A lot of you are about that bag. You focus on the money. People may be nosy and all up in your business is what I'm hearing. They may want to know how you make your money, how you get your money or how much you make it. Be careful what you slip out. Be careful what you say. Less is more. Okay. Especially when you around a group of like chit chatters and gossipers, they, they just being nosy and they're going to change the story anyways and go back and tell your enemies or frenemies or people that smile in your face and you really can't trust, like you can't trust them. So anybody who's looking sideways or looking for your response to certain situations, Feed them positivity, positive words, affirmations, anything good, anything of enlightenment. Put prayer on them. Keep them out of your business. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Libra. What's going on with you at this present time? Balance is in reverse. There's something that you're trying to achieve or something you, you're trying to work on. And it could be this project that I talked about from the beginning. There's something you're trying to get done, but I feel like you need support. 
You need to ask for help. It will come. Don't be too proud to ask. Okay. I'm not saying beg. I'm saying ask. So asking you shall receive. And God always says that. So you will get the help that you need. You're going to get the support and the guidance and you need it. And believe me, two heads really is better than one. And if you have three or four, a whole team, it makes things a lot easier. Yes. You may have to oversee some of the work or even take the lead in certain situations. However, it's good to have a group of people working towards the same goal or the same vision because you're going to get there faster and somebody else could bring something new and exciting and um, innovative to the table is what I'm getting. It could be wonderful. So picture it working out for the good and for what's best. Okay. Picture the success of it and how happy you're going to feel when it's like complete and done. Stay balanced in your life. So make sure you guys, I keep hearing about your health. So take care of your health. Some of you need to exercise more, yoga, walk. Have some yogurt or something that, you know, only you know what you can eat that's healthy and safe for you. Do what's healthy and safe always first and foremost. People may be, may be shocked or um, they may hate on your climb or how, how you're doing things, how you're getting things done in life. Because I keep hearing about your money. Like people want to know about your money. My ear's ringing. My right ear's ringing. Somebody's talking about you right now. Straight up. That's rare for me to hear that. That's very rare. They talking trash. Um, and they nosy. Oh my God. You have some people that's nosy around you. People asking too much and it may make you mad. Please stay cool, calm and collected. Don't let them get you out of pocket to where you check them. You can check people, but don't check them in a way that your, your rest of your day is ruined or, you know, you check them and you're in the car crying or you check them and it, it bothers you to the point where you can't even focus no more on the job or you can't focus on something with your kids or at home, you can't get anything done. So turn your pain or your problems into power and resolutions, peaceful resolutions, positive resolutions, anything that's going to be a good or great outcome. Okay. Don't let anybody get to you. So I'm hearing, don't let anybody throw you off balance because they're truly unbalanced and they want you to feel how they feel. I'm, I'm hearing like somebody around me is real grouchy or they in a real like grouchy, like mood, like their moods are swinging and it, it can be a masculine or feminine. And it's just, I don't know, they're going through things in their life and I think they're projecting that negative energy onto you. Don't let it rub off on you, okay? Stay excited about life. Keep going forward, Libra. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You have a good heart. You're highly intelligent. You have wonderful things to do. You're very in independent is what I'm hearing. Like somebody could be jealous of your independence. That's what I'm getting. I'm hearing, you guys know this. You guys have an irresistible aura around you. So people are always jealous of you guys. They don't understand how you stay balanced, how you keep going, how you just, eventually it works out for you. Well, you also stay close to God and spirit and they need to learn how to do the same thing. And you're very adventurous. Somebody may be jealous of the fact that you take trips or you're very adventurous. You like to go see the world and do different things. You're very dynamic and talented. Like you're focused on what's necessary in life. So they need to stay in their lane and focus on them. Keep doing you and don't let anybody take your joy. Don't let anybody take your smile. Keep your head to the sky, to the clouds, as high as you can go and stay classy. That's who you are. Stay classy. Don't join the trash. You stay classy. Okay. The change that you will see next is prayer. Somebody you may want to pray for, or you may ask to pray for you or with you. I feel like they're going to reject it. Remember I was saying um, when you put God on people or you pray for them and they're going to end up walking away or underneath their breath, they're like, mm -hmm. it's not like you're acting holier than thou. You really are that chick or that dude who does love God and spirit. You really do get on your knees and pray. Some of you have prayer circles, prayer lines. Some of you are writing your own spiritual books or spiritual experiences. You're highly connected to God. And some people may feel some type of way about it. The only way they should feel about it is elated. They should be happy and glad for you. They should be joining you and be inspired to be more inspirational and go more towards a spiritual path and elevate their relationship with the Lord. That's what they need to do. I feel like somebody's going to be blocking prayer. That is a very weird person or place for them to be in where they're not really receiving their blessings and their prayers. That's odd. And it even could be at the place of, of church. Maybe they're disappointed about how their life turned out or the stage that they're in right now. They really need to go towards God and give it to God. All their problems, cares, and worries, they need to release that to God and their angels so that they have that protection. They have guidance and clarity about their lessons and what they are to do going forward so that they can walk their spiritual purpose and path. 
I feel like what is you're walking your path and you're getting there. And to somebody, you're getting there at a fast pace. So somebody's side eyeing you and they're looking at you funny because you're about to really celebrate life while they're bored. It's like you're focused on better things for yourself and your family while they're focusing on like being sad. So I think what it is, they're down at this time and they're kind of like in a slump or in a funk and they want somebody to be down with them. Maybe their finances are not in order or maybe somebody broke their heart or somebody left them behind or maybe they don't have a job anymore. This person needs some kind of assistance but they're not asking for the help or they're not reaching out for it. They want people to just come to them and it just falls in their lap. Sometimes you have to be the go-getter. You know, sometimes you have to be the ambulance. You got to get there first. You got to make waves. You know, you got to set the track for somebody else, you know, and pave the way. So continue to focus on real friendships, love, loving yourself and God. I feel like visitors could be coming your way. Focus on happy moments and good memories and happier times. That's what I'm getting for you. Okay, and, and whether they like it or not, pray for this person. They need it. Always, always, always. And yourself. Don't ever leave yourself out of prayer. And I know you will pray for yourself, Libra. You guys got this. All right. What's going to trigger this change in reverse? A miracle. Yeah, there's something they were waiting on that um, they're not going to get. So they're delayed. I feel like there's some blockages here. They could be in their own way is what I'm hearing. Or they did something. I'm hearing trifling. To where now spirit intercepted and took a blessing from them. You know, I always tell people, count your blessings or God will take them. That means you need to appreciate everything you have. Your life, your limbs, being able to breathe, being able to walk, food in your refrigerator. If you was able to get up today, if you could see today, every day is different. Today, you may wake up with a bug bite. Tomorrow, you may be wake up and your leg hurts. Tomorrow, you may wake up and, you know, anything could be different. Every day there's something different. Even if for a week, it feels the same or for months, it feels the same. Every day is different. There's something different about every day. We just may not know it. You look on the news, something's going on different every day in every city, every state, every neighborhood. You know, sometimes we have, we hear sounds at night. We don't know what those sounds are. It could be firecrackers. It could be planes or whatever. Every day is different. Every day has something beautiful to be thankful and grateful for to God. God does send miracles. He does send blessings. He sends gifts and presents. Somebody may can see a spiritual gift in you or they see something in you, Libra. I feel like there's always going to be a hater in your energy because you guys stand as empresses. And it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. You guys stand as an empress on a very high level. You know that you're divinely guided to do wonderful things. You are a master manifester. You manifest miracles and blessings all the time, even when you don't realize it. Even if you're crying tears, God is turning your sadness and your pain into blessings and financial gains. He's turning your pain into something triumphant, something tremendous, something super outrageous and great. Everything comes in God's divine timing. Remember to remind yourself that and to remind people around you, especially if they are feeding other people negative things like I'm not going to have this. It won't happen. It's not going to happen for me, but at least it's happening for you. Anybody on that level, they are in a sunken place. Okay. They are. And they need a lot of positive reinforcement. They need prayer. They need healing. They need a lot of help and assistance. They have to change their mindset. You know, please encourage them to be more positive and encouraging towards themselves and to others. Nobody wants to hear somebody sad, down, out, lonely, and depressed all the time. It's just not fun to be around somebody who's always bored or someone who's inconsistent or they're only happy when they're in a relationship. They, that person truly don't know what happiness is. And then somebody leaves or something doesn't work out and they are on the floor depleted. Okay. They need to learn how to get up and love their life and love their bodies and love themselves, love their minds and reach for their own stars, their own dreams and look within themselves for the happiness. They have to choose that. Every person has to choose that if they want to. We get a choice in even choosing that or not. They may have a lot of blessings around them and they don't even recognize them because they don't appreciate it as a blessing. So somebody could be in a low place and they may come to you to talk about their problems reverse I'm here reverse everything that they say that is down or negative or just insensitive just repel it like reverse it 
into something empowering, inspiring, motivating. They need a lot of motivation is what I'm hearing. Okay. The action you could take out of my spirit in reverse is victim. Yeah, they're going to play the victim mentality of woe is me. This ain't working out for me. And how come all this bad stuff always happened to me? Everybody has challenges. Everybody have bad days. Everybody have terrible experiences. Everybody deals with brokenheartedness and death and feeling sad at times. <clears throat> However, people have to learn to keep it moving, to keep going and not let anything bring them down and completely steal their happiness for good. You know, no matter who abandoned them, no matter who hurt them. Okay. Do not let this person confuse you or disrupt your life or your day. Put healing and support and hopefulness into their mouths. Okay. Feed them that. Okay. They need to renew their faith. That's the main thing that they need to do because they may be lacking in that. They, they could be real stubborn too. Or um, they don't always embrace it or be open to change. And then they sit back and watch your doors open and you manifesting things to come in for you. Like fertility and, you know, dating and outings. They may need to take themselves out on a date and spend some leisure time and on themselves. You know, go pamper yourself is what you need to tell them. Go have some fun. Go indulge a little bit in something positive and good. Go spend time, you know, finding out a new skill or hobby. Okay, don't let them stand or sit in a place of um, victimhood. Okay, and don't let them bring down your day and your momentum is what I'm hearing. Now, keep your day sunny and bright. Okay, what's happening with your family, friends, and people around you is mysticism. See, while there's this one person, and it could be a few people, but I'm getting like, there's somebody in your life who's in that sunken place. They lack faith at this time. Everybody else is increasing in faith. Mac, you know, mysticism is like, I'm hearing spirituality being magnetized. It's like you're feeling good about your relationship with God. You're feeling happy. You're feeling upbeat and uplifted and positive about, you know, the goodness God brings to your life all the time and for your family, your friends, and other people. Sometimes, Libra, you're more happier for other people than they are for you. And they may even be doing better than you. You're still happy for them. So that's outstanding. And spirit applauds that because that means you're not a jealous hearted person. You're not a jealous soul. And you're choosing not to be. You just know how to appreciate what you have going for you and still be happy for everybody around you, even if they have more or they're doing something different. It doesn't even matter. You're just like, hey, if my friends and family's winning, in your opinion, you're winning. That's exactly the right attitude to have. I love that. That's a winning attitude. Yes, do your thing. Libra, I love that. That's excellent. That's magnificent, in fact. I love that. And keep building on your spirituality and your relationship with God. A lot of you are reading your Bibles. A lot of you are taking time out to incorporate various types of spiritual music or religious music, Christian music. It doesn't matter. As long as you're connecting with God and spirit, your meditation practices are being longer or elongated, or you're doing them with while you're exercising with your children, while you're with your husband and wife or significant others alone, you're making sure that you give all glory to God you're standing in your power this way and you know wonderful things are going to come to you. They always will. You're a beautiful soul. You have a beautiful mind and a beautiful heart. You're awesome. There's good in you and you see that and you know it. So don't let anything or anyone stop you or bring you down. Continue your climb of your ladder. You're going up and up and closer to God and spirit. You are highly divine. You're highly favored. You have divine favors, blessings, gifts to unwrap. Wonderful things are going to come to you. Know that. Receive it. Receive beautiful blessings. Stay positive and stay in constant prayer with the Lord. He hears you. He hears your call. He hears your prayers. Jesus and your entire spiritual team, all your angels are beside you. They're walking with you. They're lighting the way for you. You're going to make waves in this life. You have more wonderful experiences to walk through. You have some amazing things to do. Some wonderful things to build. You're so clever and hardworking. You're going to get the job done with excellence and success. The outcome in the reverse is enlightenment in reverse. You're going to be enlightened about something. And you may feel it coming, but you don't know what it is yet or what it has to do with. Okay? Stay prayed up. Your spiritual team will let you know when the time is right. You don't need to rush this. Okay? When you're supposed to know something, God will lead you to it or he'll lead a helper or a minister, 
or a friend or family member. It could even be a message of somebody you know or don't know. It could be animals. It could be birds. It could be owls. It could be a dog or cat, your fish. Something is going to is going to spark something inside of you. So don't give up hope and know that you can't walk anybody else's path. You can encourage people to not give up hope and to stay faithfully based and um, surround themselves with divinity and prayers and spiritual people. But it's up to them what they choose to do. You can't walk their path for them, but you can encourage them to be enlightened and go closer to God by reading their Bible. I even recommend people read a children's Bible. I do that too. I read the original Bible and the children's Bible. So, and it's really like for teenagers, I would say, but kids can listen to it too. But I love both. I love the combination so that it helps me understand, you know, the old testaments a little bit better and the stories are more vivid from the children's Bible, but I like both. I like the combination of both. So you may be inspired to do that or read from various Bibles, look up different priests and pastors and uh, spiritualists online, look on YouTube. If you like Instagram, whatever your social media, like there's so many ways to connect to source and spirit, go that way. Okay. Could it be a spiritual coach out there for you? So standing your power and never lose sight of knowing that you're special, you're talented, you're important, your life is highly significant, you're amazing, and God has immaculate, wonderful things for you, Libra. Never, ever forget that. So you're going to be enlightened about something, or you could be enlightening somebody else about something. That's connection to God and spirit. So don't let anybody take you away from God. Don't let anybody, um, I'm hearing, don't let them break any relationship that you have with spirit or the other side. You may be called to do something different and unusual and people may not understand it. It could even be tarot. It could be oracle cards. It could be using pendulums or you may start healing practices with Reiki or become your own like spiritualist or a spiritual teacher or something like that. Do what you feel called to do. Don't worry about anybody who's against it. Don't worry about other people's opinions. It's okay to hear opinions, but only accept the positive ones. Don't let anything negative penetrate is what I'm hearing. And for somebody who is like blocking their spiritual growth, and advancement and development. Keep praying for them. Pray for their healing. Pray for their enlightenment. And that they find solace. And spend some time in solitude. They need to spend time in solitude. Building up or rebuilding up their faith. I feel like somebody around you, their faith is broken. Mm. That's hard to hear. But it happens. You know, we all go through major difficulties and severe challenges in life. Inspire your friends and family members. It could even be a stranger. Inspire them to go towards God, towards the light and towards what's good. That's how they heal. That's how they will be repaired and restored and blessed. Okay. Everything should push us closer to God. All experiences. That's what we're here for. Okay. Libra. I'm hearing you're just a perfect person to lead somebody to God's doors. I love that. Oh, I love the feel of that. Oh, let's get to part three. So Libra, the message came out for you is from the messages from heaven communication cards deck by Jackie Newcomb. All the decks I use are listed in the description box below, and it would be in your best interest if you want to research and Google angel number 40. Your message reads as follows. Your loved ones from heaven want you to know that they want you to tune in to the rhythm of nature. Let us connect together there. Your card is beautiful. I don't see this card come out very often. I haven't used this deck a whole lot, but so far through all these readings, I have not seen this card come out. It's very beautiful. Some of you need to surround yourself with some beautiful red or pink flowers. Start a garden. Go outside and enjoy nature. Look around at all the beautiful, I'm hearing like dandelions daffodils any type of flowers but um look at all the flowers and the beauty of nature the wind you know feel the wind on your skin look at the trees look up look around okay some of you need a garden or you need a plant others of you i feel like your energy could be low or somebody's around you it could be both so you don't need to surround yourself with other people whose energy is low so you need to uplift yourself and surround yourself and talk to people or listen to tarot card readers who are very uplifting or people, anybody, it could be a researcher, it could be a teacher, a doctor, a nurse, listen to people who have a very high vibration, who live in high energy. They're going to help 
pull you up. They're going to propel you upward and onward and forward. That's the direction you need to go in. Okay. So if your energy is low right now, it's, it's just chill. Okay. Relax and do things that you truly love. Even if you have to force and push yourself to do it, do it, get out of that funk. And if somebody is around you in that, which I do feel that whoever's around you in that help guide them out of it. Okay. By being your uniquely wonderful self. Okay. You have, you're smart. You have wonderful ideas. You're always praying for the people, put some scriptures on them, do some rituals, keep them in prayer and meditation, all that good stuff. Okay. And they might need like a spiritual bath, a real good spiritual cleansing, a spiritual purification, something like that. Have them look up things like that. Okay. I want to read from the book as well. It says, tune into the rhythm of nature. Let us connect together there. Your energy is a little low right now, like I was saying, but your loved ones will meet you in a place of high energy. Mother Earth, find your favorite place in nature, maybe at the water's edge, I'm hearing at the beach, a meadow, or sitting under an old, old tree, a vibrant, a vibrant place that brings you peace. And your loved ones will help you to energize you there. Relax. You will sense and feel them in this place today. Together, you will have mind-to-mind -to -mind telepathy. Spirit is going to communicate with you. Somebody from the other side may be talking to you or telling you something of significance. Be ready to receive it when it comes in. So you need to clear your head at night. Relax yourself. Okay, breathe and just clear your mind or just talk to God in the spirit before you go to bed and when you wake up. Okay, surround yourself with God, high spirits, good spirits, good people, high vibrations, people who actually bathe in divinity, meaning people who love the Lord and it shows and they talk about this often and they really live it. Surround yourself with people like that to the best of your ability. All right. Okay. Libra, this has been your month of July, your 2021 reading. And I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you love and light infinite joy, blessings, and abundance. Stay inspired. Stay positive. Keep loving God and yourself. Do wonderful things to keep you smiling and uplifted. And know that you are powerful. You're a winner. You're amazing. You're excellent. You're awesome. Much love and light. Bye, Libra.